This is so you can make an auto slow mode system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a god tier on Discord or a super god tier subscription on YouTube. We also have the bot tier, which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. You can also get any of these three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create our schema. So go over to schemas and go ahead and create your auto slow mode.js. You're going to need to save a guild string and a channel string. So after you go ahead and do that, we can close out and we're going to go over to commands and we can go ahead and create auto slow mode.js. To start, we're going to go ahead and define our discord.js dependencies, which is going to be slash command builder and embed builder. And then we're also going to get our auto slow mode schema. Then we're going to go ahead and do module.exports and we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name and this is going to be auto slow mode. We can go ahead and say description and we can just say auto slow mode as well. We're going to go ahead and set mod to true and then we can go ahead and add our sub command. So the first one is going to be setup. We're going to have a description of setup the auto slow mode system and then we're going to add a channel option with the name the channel to enable it in and we're going to set required to true. We're going to add another sub command. This one is going to be disable. So we're going to have the name disable. We're going to have the description as disable the auto slow mode system. We're going to add a channel option with the name channel. It's going to be the same as above the channel to disable it in and then we're going to set required to true. Then we're going to add a comma and we're going to do async executes and we can go ahead and get our interaction. We can go ahead and open this up. The first thing that we're going to do is get our options and we're going to get that from our interaction. Then we're going to go ahead and do const sub equals options that get sub command. And then we can go ahead and do async function. We're going to get our send a message function. We're going to get our message within this. Let's go ahead and get our embed and we're going to set that to new embed builder. We can go ahead and say a color and this is going to be blurple and we can go ahead and say a description and we're going to go ahead and pass in our message parameter. Then we can send our message so we can do await interaction and we can do dot reply and we're going to get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message. So after we do that we're going to write out our get data function. So we're going to do get data and within this we can go ahead and do const channel equals options that get channel and we're going to go ahead and get our channel and then we're going to do const data equals awaits and we can do auto slow mode dot find we're going to go ahead and get our guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id and we're going to get our channel which is going to be our channel dot id so after we do that we're going to go ahead and return an object so we're going to return our data data and our channel, which is gonna be our channel just like that. Now we can go ahead and switch into our sub command. We're gonna get the first command, which is going to be setup. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by getting our info variable. So we're gonna go ahead and do var info equals a way to get data. Then we're gonna go ahead and say if info.data, we're gonna go ahead and send a message saying the system is already set up in info.channel. And then we're going to say else, and then we're going to go ahead and create it with auto slow mode create. We're going to get our guild, which is going to be our guild.id from our interaction. And our channel is going to be our info.channel.id. And then we're going to send a message saying that the auto slow mode system is now set up in our info channel. So after that, we can go ahead and break and we're going to get our case, which is going to be a disable. Then in here, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to get our info. This time, we're going to go ahead and say if no info.data, then we're going to go ahead and send a message saying the system is not set up in that channel. Then we're going to say else, and we're actually going to go ahead and use our slow mode schema, and we're going to do delete one. We're going to delete the guild, and we're going to delete the channel, and then we're going to send a message saying the auto slow mode system is now disabled in info.channel. All right, so after that, we are actually done with the command portion of this. So now let's go ahead and write some code to actually handle the events of the auto slow mode, which makes this system work. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go over to events and we're going to go ahead and create auto slow mode.js. Within this, we're going to get our events and we're going to do equals require and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package. And we're also going to go ahead and get our auto slow mode schema. And that is going to be from our schemas file. Then we can do module.exports and we're going to go ahead and get our name, which is going to be events.message creates. And we're going to do async executes and we're going to go ahead and get our client and our message and we can open this up. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is just say var data equals await auto slow mode, and we can do dot find one, and we're gonna get our guild, which is going to be our message dot guild dot id, and we're gonna get our channel, which is going to be our message dot channel dot id as well. Then we're gonna say if no data, then we're just gonna go ahead and return. Uh, and then after we do that, we're actually gonna go ahead and say awaits client that slow data. And then we can do dot push and we're gonna push our message dot ID. Now we actually have to set this up. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go over into our index.js and you're gonna go ahead and create client dot slow data equals an empty array within your index.js and you can just comment auto slow mode. You're just gonna go ahead and create a global array that we're gonna be able to access within a bunch of different files right here. So that's what you're gonna go ahead and do. That way you can access it right here. This is effectively acting as a cache, but in an array format instead of an object so that we can access the message IDs. All right, so after that, we're done with that file. Now let's actually go ahead and handle the bulk of this. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to events. We're also gonna go ahead and create auto slow mode and we can just call this checker and we can do .js. Let's go ahead and start by getting our events and our auto slow mode schema. Then we're gonna do module.exports and we're gonna go ahead and do name and we're just gonna do events. And we can just do client ready. So we're gonna do ready events. We can do async executes. We can get our clients and we can open this up. All right, so let's go ahead and start off by writing a get channels function. So this function is going to pass in a data parameter. We're going to get our channels array. We're going to do a weight data dot for each. We're going to get the value and we're actually going to go ahead and create a channel variable based off of that value. And we're going to go ahead and push that channel variable into our channels array in which we're going to go ahead and return in that function. Then we can go ahead and set our first interval and we're going to do async empty function. We can open this up. So this first interval is going to be an interval of 1000 milliseconds, which is going to be one second. Within this, let's go ahead and start off by doing var message cache equals await client.slow data. So we're gonna get that global array and we're gonna get our data from our slow mode schema. Then we're gonna say if no data, we're just gonna go ahead and return. After we do that, we can go ahead and do var update channel equals await to get channels using that function that we created. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and create a big for loop. So this for loop is going to have all of our logic in it. It's gonna be await update channel dot for each. We're gonna do async channel. So we're gonna go ahead and for each that channel and get an individual channel. And within this, we're gonna set an update cache to an empty array. Then we're gonna go ahead and make a for loop and we're basically checking the message cache length. Um, and we're gonna run this loop until we've checked the entire message cache. So within the loop, we're gonna say var message equals await channel.messages.fetch. We're gonna get our message cache and we're gonna get the instance of the loop that we are actually on, which will be corresponding with the array length. And we're gonna go ahead and catch an error as well. Then we're gonna say if message, we're gonna do update cache.push and we're gonna push that exact same message that we have. So essentially what we're doing here is we're filtering through this big array. This array is going to have data in it from essentially every single server your bot is in with the system set up. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that the stuff that we're actually checking for within this channel and within this guild are messages from that guild and from that channel. So that's what we're essentially doing. We're filtering out messages um, and we're putting them in our updated cache. Then we're gonna go ahead and say of our cache count equals update cache dot length. I, we can actually go in and remove that console log because that's not really needed. Then we're gonna say if, and we can do cache count is greater than or equal to 30 messages. We're gonna set our channel rate limit per user to 60 seconds. We're gonna say else if cache count is greater than or equal to 15 messages. We're gonna set the rate limit per user to 30 seconds. And then we're gonna say else if cache count is greater than or equal to uh, 10 messages we're gonna set the array limit to five seconds. So what we've done within this interval is we've essentially just created the system to enable the slow mode based off of the messages that is obtained within the guild. So now let's go ahead and create another interval that is going to be used to increment the slow mode down from the maximum to zero slow mode so that we can slowly reduce the slow mode without disabling it 100%. So let's go ahead and set an interval. We can do async empty function. We can open this up. This interval is going to be 20,000 milliseconds, which is going to be 20 seconds. And then here, let's go ahead and do var data equals await auto slow mode, and we can do dot find. Then we're gonna do const down channel equals awaits, and we can do get channels, and we're gonna pass in our data. 
Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do a weight down channel and we can do dot for each and we're going to do async channel and we can go ahead and open this up. So in here, let's say if channel dot rate limit per user uh, is equal to 60, then we can open this up. Then we can say else if and we're going to do channel dot rate limit per user is equal to 30. We're going to open that up and we're going to say else uh, and then we can open that up. So within the 60 seconds, we're going to go ahead and decrement the rate limit to 30 seconds. So for example, if the rate limit or the slow mode within the channel is at 60 seconds currently, in this 20 second interval, we're gonna reset it to 30 seconds. Then for the next interval, the channel is going to be at 30 seconds slow mode. So within that 20 second interval, we're gonna go ahead and set the slow mode to five seconds. And then in the third interval, we're gonna go ahead and completely remove the slow mode. Now that's provided that there are no more messages sent being added to the cache. If let's say we go from 60 to 30 and then 30 to five, and then up here we get a lot more messages and then we go back up to 30 seconds, then in that next interval, it's gonna bring it back down to five. So it's not like it's gonna completely reset it. Uh, it is working together with the system we already set up above. So with that, we're actually done with this entire system. So let's go ahead and save the files, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord, let's go ahead and set this up. We can go ahead and set it up to the channel I'm already in. And now that the system is set up, let's go ahead and spam. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this uh, within my server here. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and play a short clip of me doing it with uh, a lot of members from my actual coding server spamming in a channel at the same time. I saved the channel here. You can see people were just spamming and the auto slow mode system detected it and calmed it down and we were able to stop the spam very shortly so here let's just go ahead and start spamming I'm gonna go ahead and spam and then right here as you can see it's gonna go ahead and set my slow mode to 30 seconds because I made it into that message threshold so if we keep spamming here um, we can actually make it go up to 60 seconds so now it's at one minute um, and we can continue spamming so now that we've maxed out our slow mode here let's go ahead and watch within the next three intervals as it decrements the slow mode and goes back down to zero as no messages are sent and as you can see there it's going to go from one minute to 30 seconds and now it's going to go down to five seconds and now in the third interval all the slow mode is going to be turned off so now if i were to continue to spam it will go back up um, and then it will go back down again. So as you can see, it's adjusting automatically to the spam. All right, so now you can go ahead and watch this short clip of the auto slow-mo test that I did in my main server. All right, so that's how you make an auto slow mode system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.